No pain, no gain. Hello, gay YouTube fan. Welcome back. We finally have the overconfident, the hot headed martial artist, a blazing brawler himself, Paul Phoenix. Finally got him in hand. I'm excited and quite impressive, if I'm honest. But a little bit of background, real quick. Paul is one of the Tekken fighters that has been in every game since the first Tekken. He is determined more than ever to win the King of Iron Fist tournament to prove he is the best fighter in the entire universe. And he is best friends with Mar Martial Law. And he is also friend with Steve Fox. Pero, let's get into the figure now. Taking a closer look at Paul, we noticed his hair sculpt. I think they could have done better with the paint job and the uh, sculpting details on it. Like in the front of the hair, I think they could have added like a detachable hair piece. But when you look at the game, that's how the hair looks like. Nothing really happening at the top of his head. Eyebrows are sculpted, you can feel them. Same with the beard, you can feel some texture in there. He got some brow muscles and he got some lines on his forehead. And the lips is nicely painted, doesn't have paint smearing. You know, his beard is actually shaped up nice. On his arm, we see his scorpion tattoo. Nothing on this side, but muscle definition and nice shading. Elbow looking nice, but it doesn't have those lines that we've seen on others. Forearm wraps could have had a little bit more shading on it. It's just white. You can see it better under proper lighting. And they're removable. This is what it looks like without them. The yellow part of the glove could have had better paint to make the strap stand out because this drawing just bland. The glove is nicely painted, but they could have added some weathering because he is punching people and stuff. I don't know if you could pick it up, but he does have where the nail should have been at, but it's not as defined. Hey, before you continue, I got something to tell you. If you're enjoying yourself, make sure to subscribe to the channel and make sure to follow me on social media. Links on description below. Thank you. You can now proceed. They did pretty good with the gi. It has texture on it. The logo is sculpted, and so is this part of the gi that runs throughout the back. And this part right here is has some weathering on it, as well as on this side. On the back of the gi, the logo is textured, has some weathering on here. His belt has some sculpting lines all throughout, and the letters are sculpted as well. And the belt is also removable. This is how you take it off. You do want to be cautious removing the belt because this part is thin and can easily rip. Make sure to pull his arms back before you remove his gi. This is what it looks like underneath. You can see the shading. I think that's a nipple. Belly button. Overall, I think they did a good job making the muscles pop with the shading. Looking at his pants, his pants have the same texture as the top part of his gi. He added some sculpting wrinkles and the line that runs down to his pants. And at the bottom of his pants, he has some, some white wash and he has some on this side as well. For his foot strap, we see the yellow part, which is sculpted and it goes down to the bottom of his feet. He has some nice sculpted toes, but they are not spread like reels. careful with the bicep because it'll give him a boo-boo. On him, the chest area is softer than normal, so it tends to bunch up too, so be careful for that. Yeah. First we have his grinning face which is paw all the way. Has his cheek muscles, you can see the teeth, they did pretty good making sure that teeth stand out. Got his lines in between his brows. Overall this was a great head scope for Paul and they executed it nicely in my opinion. And this is his angry face, it has some shading on the side, it looking nice, he got some cheek muscles and he has some eyebrow muscles there that defines his angriness. And his teeth are nicely painted and the inside of his mouth is painted nicely as well. Another head scope executed nicely in my humble opinion. He also comes with his burning fist effect, which is nicely done. This part right here, hard plastic, they aren't flexible. This part, you can feel the texture of Got it. Got some lines on the swirls and on this side as well. This is where you put his fist at. But this effect was nicely done. It's dope. I like it. It did great with the paint job as well and the texturing. Great effect. Good job, Storm. 
They should have added his book bag wood signs as an accessory. Would have been cool. Anyways, y'all, that's a wrap on my paw review. The logo on his back, I was trying to find some information on it, but I couldn't find anything. If you guys know what the logo stands for, let me know in the comment section. I appreciate it. Also, I appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out this review with me. I enjoyed reviewing him. The figure feels good in my hands. I feel as though I could pose him in any way. The joints are sturdy and feel durable. The hair, though, the hair could have probably been sculpted and painted differently. His forearm wraps could have had some shading along with his gloves and the yellow part of it to make it pop. Nonetheless, the figure is great. I like it. I enjoyed posting him and taking pictures of him. And he has show presence because it's Paul. Now we just need a martial law now. But that's about it, you guys. Thank you so much. Once again, if you enjoyed this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Like. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. And also, follow me on social media, y'all. I'll leave the links in the description below. Thank you to my 68 subscribers. Appreciate you guys. And to everyone watching, y'all be blessed. Hope you guys enjoy these pictures, y'all. Thank you.